Hello, welcome to Trash Talking Episode 4. Okay, in tonight's episode, um, so allegedly, let me say allegedly, Drake is accused of sleeping with Kylie Jenner behind Travis Scott back. Hmm, is Drake the baby daddy? Okay, supposedly Tristan... Tristan Thompson girlfriend. Well, I reported on her last week, I think. Marilee Nichols. She the one dropping the tea. She said that Tristan told her that uh Drake was uh creeping with Kylie. So, guys, Marilee uh Nichols is the one who's spilling the beans on on the on the on the Jenner Kardashian girls. Okay, so she said Tristan told her that Drake had been carrying on a s- secret affair with Kylie behind uh, Travis's back. Uh, and Tristan reached out, you know, and, and texted her and said, hey, stop, stop talking. <laughs> and I read the text. He said, it said, stop talking. You know, I see you in Houston. I'll be in Houston next week or whatever, and we can talk about it as adults, but stop talking. She was talking too much. She putting this Kardashian business out, hun. I guess she mad about that $75,000 that he only want to give her instead of being a daddy to their baby. So, I guess she is mad about that. But she is telling all the business, honey. So, uh, so allegedly, Drake has been creeping with old Kylie. So, honey, if that baby don't come out looking like Stormy, we all going to know. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. We all gonna know, cause isn't Drake mom white? So if that baby come out pale, we all gonna know whose baby it is, right? Okay, so my next story is Black China caught on video allegedly, and I actually saw the video again. I actually looked at the video before I finished right now what I was gonna say. Okay, so Black China was caught on video allegedly high on coke and kidnapping a white girl okay so reality star black channel uh is in a world of trouble after a new video leaked by the uk sun newspaper in the video a young woman burst out of a hotel room at the sacramento sheraton grand running from black china's room the woman and her friends alleged that Ch- Black China held them against their will. And it was caught on video. And in the video, like you can see the guy, like this black guy, he had, I guess he went and got security. And security was like, China, China, or whatever. Like, baby, her name Angela. Her real name is Angela. You should have been calling her Angela. But... Uh, he was standing there, and he, he said his friend was in there or whatever. And so when the girl came out, she was crying and hysterical. And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was like, you ain't got nothing to be sorry about. So the guy started exchanging words with, I guess, the guy who was with, uh, maybe it was the security for Black Channel or whatever, or maybe he was mad that he done brought this, brought people to the room or however, whatever. But, yeah, I actually saw the video, and the girl came out. She was crying, and when she got in the elevator, she bent, you know, she was nervous. And, yeah, so something was going on behind closed doors over there. Oh, Black Channel, trying to hold somebody high. Now she a thug. Uh-huh. Child. Child. These people kill me. Now she's a thug, huh? Okay. My last story, and see, guys, I think I'm going to keep this one under 15 minutes. See, I've been trying. My last story is Justice Smollett was found guilty in a hate crime trial. He was found guilty on five out of six, five out of the six charges, that felony charges on top of that. And so he is facing, um, I think up to three years. Let me see. It's for, he's found guilty on five out of six of the felony counts of disorderly conduct for making false report to Chicago police that he, he was the victim of a hate crime in January, 2019. And it says, um, 
Jury deliberated only one day and found him guilty. A disorderly conduct charge for a false crime report is punishable by up to three years in prison and $25,000 fine. So, guys, you mean to tell me he lied about being the bleach being thrown on him and going to the subway, getting a sandwich? So, what was the purpose? Was he trying to save Empire from being um, taken off TV? Like, really? Like, what, what other... What, what? Why would he do that? Why would he sabotage himself and his freedom? You don't think he thought he thought Empire was real, do you? And <laughs> you don't think he did that for raises on the show, right? Because you remember once he started going to court and stuff, all of a sudden he got married and, and to the guy and moved to Japan or or it was in you don't do y'all think Jesse did that for ratings? Ratings on <laughs> was Lucia supposed to come and help him? Like, for real, him and Cookie? Like, why would Jussie do that? Like, the only, th only explanation it has to be is he really thought, like, Lucius and Cookie was going to come and, like, bribe the judge or something. And the DA and, you know, and his, and, um, Andre was going to kill the, 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 uh, prosecutor and, I mean, guys, I don't understand why, I don't understand, like, why would he do that? Why would you sabotage your career and your freedom unless you thought Empire was real? Hmm. Guys, if any of you have the opportunity to run across Jussie, please say, this lady named Sean in Dallas, Texas, she wants to know why would you do that? And can you can you can you give her an answer? Like, do you did you were you anticipating Cookie and Lucia's coming to, you know, like, blow up the court courtroom and uh, Andre killed the prosecutor? Is that what it was? You, 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 your real life, in your real life, you were thinking Empire was real and Lucius was real and, and, and Andre, you know, like, these were real people. That's the only other way I can explain it. So I think that's what it is, guys. He probably thought that um, he probably thought that Lucius and Cookie was gonna come. Andre was gonna blow up the courtroom and kill the judge and the police officers. And Cookie and Lucius was gonna come and you know do their thing and get him out. And then they was gonna end scene and cut. Sean's journey out.